Taking weeds out of the ocean, it is a massive project underway right now in Newport Beach. But as NBC4's Vicki Vargas report, if it's not done, the so-called invasive algae could affect marine life there. The good news, said biologists, is that the invasive algae, known as Calerpa prolifera, has only been discovered here at China Cove. It is not dangerous to humans. The bad news? It is growing like an underwater weed and must be removed. This bright green plant doesn't naturally grow here. Experts say it even blocks the healthy algae from taking root. There's nothing that eats it to to minimize its presence, so there's no competition for it, so it can just keep growing and growing and growing. The plan is for divers to guide this huge hose like a vacuum along the ocean bottom. They will carefully remove nearly 1,000 square feet of sand and algae, knowing other sea life might come with it. All of this is being coordinated by a task force made of state, federal, and local agencies. A very small fragment, as little as one millimeter, two millimeters, can break off and it's possible that it could repopulate elsewhere in the harbor. Turns out this algae is the type used in aquariums, one possible source, but no one knows for sure. It's not spread everywhere, and so this is a unique opportunity to stop it. Biologists say it has been decades since this type of algae bloomed in Southern California waters. This one could affect the ocean food chain. A juvenile halibut, lobster, a lot of species that we know up and down our coast spend a portion of their lifetime in seagrass beds. Biologists say even if they are successful getting rid of this invasive algae this time, it will still take a year or two to make sure it's gone, just like that crabgrass in your yard. In Newport Beach, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.